they're attacking your children now. Oh. Attacking your children. <laughs> okay, she, look at her, she's crying. And I don't know her. There's Egyptian, there's an Egyptian after your life. Even me, I know my own Egyptians. Mama. That's the reason why I'm here because of my daughter. That's the reason why you're here. Yes. Those that thought that their children will make it, they can't make it. Even you, you see now you've got children. Don't ever think your children are better than other children. Or else you'll be a witch soon. You'll see other children making it, you start to have jealousy. Jealousy will bring witchcraft. Because now this girl is she's giving you problems. She passed, she passed her first year because of distinctions, but she wasn't doing anything in 2021. She her refused mind, to go back to Her mind is like a stone you know, someone is attacking her mind. She's so much affected. The, the, the problem is here. It's the name She's supposed to be far, this one. Yes, she's so intelligent. She's supposed to be a doctor. <laughs> but look. <laughs> Comparison. I'm looking at you. Remember when now you're, you're, you're Makoti? Yes, I am. You understand? When you're Makoti, you reach to the family there, you find other older Makotis. They look at you and say, I'm ah, so, 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 so shy. No? It's... Well, now, this child now, they are still in the mind. Now when she's studying, she's forgetting. It's like the person that was intelligent went back to zero. Now she's even failing to listen to you. She's failing to listen to you now. Misbehaving. Who's doing that? My daughter. There's an Egyptian somewhere. This Egyptian. <laughs> Mama, the Egyptians in your life, they must leave you. Amen. I'm saying the Egyptian in your life must leave you. Amen. So now I'll pray for this girl, she'll be fine. You hear me, Mama? Because she's starting to misbehave a lot. Yeah, she's she a very quiet child. She yes. did extremely well in her first year. I think she got four distinctions, but she refused to go back to university this year. So she's been sitting doing nothing. She's been attacked. Because there are times where you feel like you want to leave the house. Yes. You hear she, me? Yes. Huh? She packed her car and threatened by the car and Can you hear what she's saying? She went to start the car, the car couldn't start. Because she wanted to leave the house. Yes. It's like this, the suicidal thoughts here. She does not know why. She does not know what is happening. No, she does things and then the next day when you ask her why. It's a spiritual issue. She's attacked <laughs> by people that are jealous. <laughs> God will deliver your daughter. Thank you. Not a man of God. You see, I'm wearing a jean. Can I deliver your daughter with this jean? Even if I was wearing a shiny suit, you are the people with the suit. It's God, the living God. God who's sitting on the throne that will help his own people. Bring her here. Bring my mom. Like something's wrong. A girl that has got distinctions. Maybe we don't know which is. You don't know which is. You know, I've got uh, brothers, and now they're studying. I told them that never tell anyone. I told you, I told them that you know what? From now on, because you're studying, don't tell them, don't tell anyone anything. And my brothers, all of them, distinctions, distinctions. Distinction. 
I told them, I said, if you speak something, you have sold your own life. They will show you. They will show you this. Very cruel people. Usaro Malome, Kuko Timune. They will show you. You see, Kuko Timune, I know who your uncles. The wives of your uncles. Because there's comparison. They're comparing children. You know, they look at you and say, hey, it's like this one will have future. Attack. Viewers all over the world, welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our prophetic service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Makanenisa. And with me here today is my mother and sister who had an opportunity to sit down with the men of God one-on-one. -on -one. Ma, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Kinelwe Matecha and my daughter is Nomusa Mundawarara. We are from Pretoria. Today you had an opportunity to sit down with the man of God one on one. Um, please tell us in detail what happened when you saw Prophet Andres Simono and please confirm. The Prophet told me that I'm being attacked through my child and that was the reason why I'm here today because my child had been, at, uh, had been you know, spiritually attacked that I was not aware of. She just started misbehaving as the Prophet said. The prophecy was that I was being uh, attacked by by my child, and that my child, Sandy, who was, is a good child, suddenly started misbehaving. And all of this were perfectly, and that was the reason for my coming here today. And please tell us how long has this problem, how long has it been happening, and how has the sudden change of behavior of your daughter been affecting you? The problem started at the beginning of the year when my child didn't want to go back to university. She she is usually a child who is very quiet, she does extremely well, but she refused to register for a second year. As a result, they even they, I even got a call from the university that I must remind my daughter to register, but she did not register. And she just started misbehaving, you know, for someone who's been very quiet, normally can't raise a voice, but she suddenly started screaming. She took a, a, a pepper spray, sprayed me, said she's trying to blind me. And she warned me that I'm going to blind you. And she's just been generally, you know, not herself. And she spent almost the whole year locked up in her room. It's only recent months when I started fasting and praying that she came out of her room. But then there will still be, when you ask her about school, she used to get extremely violent. Um, and I'm, I'm so, so blessed that I got the prophecy of what exactly I had come for because I was starting to panic. It's the end of the year. What is going to come of my child next year? You know, as a parent, you want your children to prosper, you know. You want them to get an education so that they can stand up on their own two feet. So for me as a mother, to see somebody who's so gifted to refuse to go back was so painful. Very, very painful. So I've actually spent the whole year, you know, in misery, crying out to God. But then finally I saw on YouTube that Charis had a, a prophetic service today. And then I thought by whatever means I have to get here. This was my final bus stop and I knew that if I go to God for the answers, I will, I will get deliverance from my daughter. And how do you feel that today, today the men of God located you regarding something that you came here for? You know, honestly, some of it was a bit scary. It's my first time coming here. So, you know, for somebody you've never met who doesn't know you, 
I mean, I was, you know, when, as I was standing there, I was praying that, Spirit of God, please locate my daughter. But then the man of God came to me first and said, I'm being attacked through my child. You know, the Egyptians after me. And it, it, it was, initially it was scary, that's how I got emotional. But then as, as I went to talk, you know, as he carried on revealing other things, then I became more at ease and I was able to open up about what the problem was. Amen. And what words of encouragement do you have to a parent who's currently watching this? For parents, we must always keep our children in prayer. You know, as the prophet said, the Egyptians out there, you may sit there and pray, but only look for answers from God. Only God can deliver us. And I'm so, so blessed that there are people that God is still using, you know, to address our problems. I'm so... Only look for only look for solutions from God. Amen. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you and stay blessed.